this That's way. $10 By the way, the elusive haggis won't be there, but you will have a chance to experience some really delicious Scottish and Irish delicacies that you can't, that you normally couldn't get here, like scones and shortbread, and like making it like sure. you know the. <laughs> how about if? No, wait a minute. As long as you're going to redo it, um, have have had a reputation. So, in order to demonstrate a real warmth and hospitality, okay. You can do it, John. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm Scottish. For years, we Scots have had a reputation for being stingy. Well, it's just not true. So in order to demonstrate a real warmth and hospitality, we're sending you Scotland, and Ireland too. We're sending you our songs, our tunes, our artwork, and some of our very special food to Albright College on Friday the 16th. Reading's Joe O'Donnell and Eastside Dave are introducing Scotland's Andy Stewart and Ireland's Manus Lunny, together in concert, bringing to Reading the best of Celtic traditional and contemporary music. An exhibit of folk art opens at 6.30pm and the music starts at 7.30pm at Albright College and the Children's Committee 10 inviting you to experience a total nervous breakdown. Daddy, you were doing so good. I know, know, it's it's just, everything's so fragmented and not written out. Yes, I know. No, 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 no. If I can, this will do it. This will do it here. Okay, I'm sorry, Dave. This is my fault. Dave. This is the this one. This is not Johnny. No, but don't don't think it's Johnny. It's not. You can think it's me. It's fine. I'm screwing up all the way along the line here. Okay. If you ever been in a recording session, you know, you know, this is. This is natural. Right. What's right? Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm Scottish. No, you're not. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. Okay. <laughs> One. Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm Scottish. For years, we Scots have had a reputation for being stingy. Well, it's just not true. So in order to demonstrate a real warmth and hospitality, we're sending you Scotland, and Ireland too. We're sending you our songs, our tunes, our artwork, and some of our very special food to Albright College on Friday the 16th. Reading's Joe O'Donnell and Eastside Dave are introducing Scotland's Andy Stewart and Ireland's Manus Lunny together in concert, bringing to Reading the best of Celtic traditional and contemporary music. Albright College and the Children's Committee 10 invite you to experience an evening of Celtic culture on Friday, November the 16th in the Albright College Chapel. An exhibit of folk art opens at 6.30pm and the music starts at 7.30pm. Tickets are available from the Ticket Centre. 635 Walnut Street are at the door. Phone 374-3161 for more information. That's 374-3161. Oh, by the way, the elusive haggis won't be there. But you don't know about the elusive haggis anyway, because he's not in this commercial. <laughs> That's why he's a Got <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're cool, we're cool, we're getting there. It goes back to it here. It goes back to there, yeah. All right, all right. That's fine. Nearly, I started to run out of... I started to get what we call gockles, which is swallowing. Okay. All right, neighbors, and now, as promised, we have a very special guest here today on Eastside Day's Bluegrass Festival from across the ocean, the one and only Mr. John Cunningham. Hi, John, and welcome. Hi, Dave. How are you doing? I'm doing very fine, sir. You are a fiddler extraordinaire. (laughs) And uh, that relates to bluegrass music because, of course, the fiddle is one of the main instruments in bluegrass music. Where were your roots in music? Mostly in uh, Scottish and Irish traditional music. Uh, I grew up with the music in the house. My brother played uh, accordion and flute and piano. My mother played piano in a a Scottish country dance band. And uh, we played for dances uh, at home. Before you came over to the United States, had you heard of bluegrass music at all? Oh, yeah. Um, Bill Monroe is very well-known in Scotland. Country music's very popular in Scotland. And, of course, Bill Monroe especially, he even wrote a, a tune called Scotland. And uh, he always said that that's what he based bluegrass music on, was Scottish and Irish traditional music. That's true. And uh, while we're on that subject right now, let's hear that song, the song that Bill Monroe wrote regarding the homeland where a lot of the influence came from for the fiddle playing in bluegrass music. This one is by Bill Monroe. It's called Scotland. 
Okay, that was Scotland by Bill Monroe, and we're here and talking with Johnny Cunningham from straight across the ocean in Scotland. Uh, you come from Edinburgh, is that correct? Actually, a place just outside Edinburgh, a place called uh, Portobello, and it's right on the, the River Forth. Well, as you and I were talking when the uh, when the song was on there, you were telling me something about the elusive haggis. What is that? <laughs> the elusive haggis. Yeah, it's a strange animal that uh, lives in Scotland that uh, we can only catch and eat once a year. Uh, most people have heard of it, but no one knows what it is. In fact, most Scottish people don't know what it is either. They just eat it without knowing. Oh, I see. And uh, It's kind of like scrapple with legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it has magical qualities or something like that? or just uh, Only if you drink it with whiskey. Oh, I see. Okay, well, that sounds interesting. We'll have to try that sometime. I'll come over and visit you, and we'll chase around scrapple with legs and drink whiskey. I have some here in my pocket, actually. Oh, you do? Dave, yeah. Well, how about the Loch Ness Monster? Have you ever seen Nessie? Again, only after I've been drinking whiskey. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I, I think the Loch Ness Monster exists. I mean, I think too many people have seen it uh, for it you know, just to be a myth. It's sighted a good few times uh, every year, mostly, of course, by Japanese tourists. <laughs> because they have more cameras than anybody they, else. Yeah, they can get the shots that other people can't reach. Well, listen, uh, that's a part of your folklore and your culture. And, and getting back to bluegrass music for just a little bit here, of course, uh, bluegrass music does derive a lot of its uh, traditions and, and its roots from, from your kind of culture. Of course, Bill Monroe, the father of bluegrass music. But not only that, many other artists uh, down through time have uh, drawn upon their roots in music. And uh, what the hell am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know, Dave, but whatever as it sounds really PBS. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's 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 continue on. I'll I'll drub this part out. Okay. Dave? Yes. Maybe you could use that as a segue into one of the cuts from Johnny's album. You know the one that's real bluegrass. Ah, okay. Name. All right. Uh Okay, the elusive haggis and uh, we talk about uh, oh, shit. The elusive shit we talk <laughs> John, have you ever seen Nessie? <laughs> Nessie, uh the Loch Ness monster. Not personally, uh, but I have a few friends who, who have. I see. Heavy drinkers, but <laughs> honest people all the same. Well, that's a part of your culture and your background. Now, uh, we just heard a couple minutes ago from Bill Monroe and how he was influenced by Scottish music and how that in turn filtered into bluegrass music. Let's uh, divert from that for a second and let's hear one of your songs, if you wouldn't mind us playing one of your songs from one of your record albums. And uh, maybe give us a little background on it. Okay, this is a song called Further Along the Line, and I actually wrote it when I'd been over in the States maybe about three or four weeks, and I'd just been to see Kenny Baker play. And uh, I wrote the tune uh, to kind of show the similarities between Scots and American fiddle music. And uh, at the time, I was involved with some people called the Johnson Brothers that uh, I, I don't know a lot of your listeners might... Uh, I've heard of or, or no, and they uh, backed me on this track. Kurt Johnson plays uh, pedal steel guitar and banjo, uh, and Wayne Johnson plays acoustic guitar, uh, Gene Galgan plays uh, piano, and basically it was my first attempt uh, to try and fuse the two musics together. Okay, and again, the name of this one that we're about to hear? Further Along the Line, just right. saying that this is how it sounds now after so many years. That's John Cunningham, and uh, it's a pleasure <clears throat> to have you here on Eastside Dave's Bluegrass Festival, John, on WHUM Radio. It's a pleasure to be here, Dave. And that one was called Further Along the Lane, is that right? Further Along the Lane. Further Along the Lane, inspired by when you came over here to the United States and saw Kenny Baker. That's right, who yeah. Of course, is Bill Monroe's fiddle, fiddle player. player. Yeah, he's Perhaps, incredible. yeah, one of the finest in the business. Have you ever watched him and studied him play? There's one thing that stands out if you watch Kenny Baker. Well, I noticed that he holds the you know the fiddle with the neck of the fiddle right up against his hand, but he and he has huge fingers. It seems to cover the whole neck without having to you know move his hands. And also his bowing style, I think, is incredible. His wrist, you know, that's what I noticed. And he generally plays in a complete deadpan expression on his face. I mean, he looks like the end of the world just came <laughs> by. It's hard to imagine a man with so much feeling and spirit and music and stand there with no expression on his face. But that's part of the part of the whole act, I believe. You know, yeah. you're kind of guy. You stand here smiling, laughing, and everything, showing a lot of teeth here, ladies and gentlemen. I only got these teeth since I came to America. I see. <laughs> 
And, uh, well, since we're on the subject of Kenny Baker and bluegrass music, let's uh, take a listen to one by Kenny Baker. This is one that's real popular. It's one that Bill Monroe wrote. Uh, it's named after one of the hills down around his home down there around Kentucky. It's one called Jerusalem Ridge. All right, that's Jerusalem Ridge uh, with Kenny Baker on the fiddle. And we're here talking with Johnny Cunningham, coming over here to us from Edinburgh, Scotland. And now we're going to just talk a little bit. Got a few more minutes to talk to you, John. Uh, there is a big event coming up featuring uh, your kind of music, Scottish, Celtic, Irish-type music. Tell us a little more about that. Maybe some of the folks would like to stop out and be there. Yeah, there's a, an evening of Celtic culture being presented by Albright College and uh, the Children's Committee 10. I think it's on Friday, November 16th. And uh, there's a, a, a singer from Scotland, uh, Andy M. Stewart, a, a singer and songwriter, a uh, guitarist, um, banjo player, Manus Lunny uh, from Ireland. And they they sing, I suppose, what you could term as Scottish country, country music. You know, it's the same uh, kind of uh, feelings and emotions that, that bluegrass music, old-time music, country music have, but it's it's the traditional music of Scotland and Ireland. And that's one reason why the music is so popular over there, is is because the two musics really meet. And I think anyone who, who loves the kind of music you play, Dave, uh, you know, will love this kind of music. Uh, and that's starting, I think, at 730 on Friday, November 16th. I'm going to go down and maybe play some fiddle, I think. But... Uh, I think it'll be really exciting for people who haven't been exposed to this kind of music before, you know, or, or heard this kind of music. Okay, well, uh, yours truly, Eastside Dave, and our own Joe O'Donnell will be there as co-MCs, and we're really looking forward to this. And uh, once again, let's let's tell the folks where they can get tickets for it. Okay, you can get tickets at the Ticket Center at 435 Walnut Street in uh, Reading. And uh, I think the phone number there is 374-3161, 374-3161, and you can call there if you need any more information about tickets and the concert times and stuff like that. All right, that's great, John. John, I thank you for being a guest here. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, anytime, and I hope you can come back sometime, bring your fiddle for us. Love to. All right, and uh, we'll see you, and hopefully folks out there listening, we'll see you on November 16th. For an evening of Celtic music, I'll be there as one of your MCs along with Joe O'Donnell. We're looking forward to it. And uh, once again, John, thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Thanks, Dave. Try to be helpful. Okay, one more time. Three, two, one. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm a functional Tell illiterate. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Okay, I'm talking here we go. To you on behalf Children's of the Committee National 10. Dyslexic. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello. <laughs> yes. Okay, we're running out of tape. Okay. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm Scottish. For years, we Scots have had a reputation for being stingy. So in order to demonstrate our warmth and hospitality, we're sending you Scotland and Ireland too. We're sending you our songs, our tunes, our artwork and some of our very special food to Albright College on Friday, November the 16th. Reading's Joe O'Donnell and Eastside Dave are introducing... Did you just say oh? No. <laughs> I thought I heard you saying oh. <laughs> I've gone right off the store. Run it. Did you? You did say oh. We have enough tape. No, I didn't. Okay, ready. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm John. Oh, holy. <laughs> that was good, but that was a little too quick. Hello, I'm really quick. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello, I'm John Cunningham. I can't, I can't pronounce my own name. John Cunningham. Okay. Right. Three, two, <laughs> one. Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm Irish. <laughs> Three, two, one. Hello, I'm John Cunningham, and I'm Scottish. And for years, we Scots have had a reputation for being stingy. So in order to demonstrate our warmth and hospitality, we're sending you Scotland and Ireland too. We're sending you our songs, our tunes, our artwork, and some of our very special food to Albright College on Friday the 16th. Reading's Joe O'Donnell and Eastside Dave are introducing Scotland's Andy Stewart and Ireland's Manus Lunny together in concert, bringing to Reading the best of... <laughs> best of shit... <laughs>